Hi, welcome to our daily encounter. The people in Jerusalem at the time of Isaiah needed some R&R. &R. And what I mean by that is not rest and relaxation. They needed repentance and rest. This is what the Lord tells them in Isaiah chapter 30, verses 15 and 16, when it says, For thus the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, has said, In repentance and rest you shall be saved. In quietness and trust is your strength. But you were not willing, and you said, No, for we will flee on horses. Therefore you shall flee, and we will ride on swift horses. Therefore those who pursue you shall be swift. Here the Lord had already prescribed what they must do in light of the impending destruction that was coming upon Jerusalem. Uh, he had told them that if they would but surrender to Babylon and give themselves over, that things would go well for them. But many people did not listen to that instruction. They either tried to hunker down in Jerusalem, hoping that uh, Babylon would not overtake Jerusalem, even though God had already uh, determined that it would, or they tried to flee and run away, and that didn't go well for them either. What they really needed to do was to repent and rest. Repent and rest. They should repent of their sins, of their idolatry, of doing things their own way instead of the way that God had told them to do things, and to turn back to Him, turn their hearts back to Him, and then rest in Him and trust in Him uh, in quietness. And that would be their strength, that would be their salvation. But, being as rebellious as they were, they would ne neither give up on their sin, nor surrender to God's way of deliverance. And because of that, they would be destroyed. And this is a good word for us uh, today as Christians. There might be times in our lives where we fall into sin. And it may not even be just a sin here and there, but maybe we fall into a habit of sinning. And the Lord has to bring discipline upon us to break us free from that habit. And as the Lord presses down on us, as He begins to make things difficult on us uh, because of this sin, the sooner we learn this lesson, the better off we'll be. I believe that many Christians suffer way more than is necessary because they fail to follow uh, these same things that are written in Isaiah. They fail to repent and rest. And whenever we find ourselves in sin and we begin to feel the consequences of sins, and really I would say even before we even begin feeling the consequences, we should, we should immediately go to the Lord in repentance and turn to Him and say, Lord, this is a sin I have committed. And maybe it's a sin you've committed several times. Say, Lord, I have been walking in this sin for some time. Now, Lord, I turn away from this sin. I want to turn to you, Lord, and I pray to you that you would bring deliverance for me from the sin. And that you would help me, God, to walk away from the sin I've been committing. And just pray that prayer to him and, and tell him that you are sorry for walking in your own ways. And when you do that, uh, you should then immediately go into rest. Rest and trust in the Lord. And to fall back on the word in 1 John, where it says that if we confess our sins, He is faithful to forgive us. And so, we must begin to rest in Him. If we repent of our sins, but then we don't trust in Him to forgive us, we don't trust in Him to relieve us of the... Uh, consequences of sins, then it will lead us to despair. And, and who knows, maybe we'll fall back into the sin again. But we got to go to Him in full confidence, in quietness and trust. And as it says here, that would be our strength. And to go back to Him in complete uh, devotion and, and complete uh, completely committing to Him, and giving ourselves over wholly to Him, and resting and trusting in Him, that 
if we turn from our sins, that He is just and righteous to forgive us. And so this is our word of encouragement today. If you find yourself caught in some type of sin, maybe you've committed it once, maybe you've committed it a thousand times, go to the Lord right now. Right now, don't wait, but go to Him, confess your sin to Him, repent of the sin, turn your, your heart away from the sin, turn your heart towards the Lord, give your life back over to Him again, ask that He would help you, that He would not lead you in the path of temptation and, and of evil, but He would deliver you from evil and pull you out of that. And, and then rest and trust that you have received the forgiveness that is uh, secured you through Jesus Christ's death. And move forward, move ahead, look unto your Savior. If we continue looking to ourselves, we will continually fall. But if we look up to Him, He can save us and He can deliver us. So this is our word today. I thank you guys for listening in. Hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. God bless.